Hello guys and welcome to our Divide and Fera Battle Tactics series. In the first part of the series, we have talked about the Roman army composition and their battle formation. And so in uh, this part, we will talk about the unit formation that you can use in battle. Yeah. Oh, let's go. As a Roman, you will have a set to three formation with your infantry. They are the hollow square formation, the defensive formation, and the famous test to do formation. Uh, those formation are the things that make the Roman very unique, and uh, they are the a huge advantage the Roman unit on the battlefield. If you are able to use the formation effectively, the Roman unit will perform really well in the battlefield and they will become the most flexible uh, infantry in the game. They will be strong both on the offensive and defensive when you use the formation effectively. So now, let us talk about the first formation the defensive formation which is the formation you will use the most in a battle as a roman and what does the defensive formation do uh, over here we will see so as the name suggests when you use the defensive formation your units will form a more defensive formation <laughs> of course they will stay closer together, perform, they form a more dense for formation, and they receive start bonus when they stay in the formation. Over here you can see that the start bonus would be melee defense, one extra melee defense, one extra bonus versus the infantry, which is very cool. They will gain some bonus versus cavalry and bonus preserved elephant as well and most importantly is they have gained bonus armor and morale that will make them become much more defensive much more tank here when you use as formation troops awaiting orders. however when you stay in defensive formation you will have received reduced reduced speed and the soldier in the formation will not go out of the formation to engage the enemy when they fight in melee so it will make the roman infantry become less offensively right so now let's do some quick test to see how the roman infantry will perform with the formation, with the defensive formation. For the first test, we will try to use a split spear unit against a noble German swordman, who is a much stronger unit than the spring spear. And first, we will try to use them without the formation to fight against that German swordman and see how it go. And you can see over here, without the formation, the principe is losing pretty decisively against the Germanic swordman. Obviously, because the Germanic swordman is a much stronger unit compared to uh, the principe. Now, in the second test, we will have we will use the same unit, same battle. Uh, the principe is going against the Germanic noble swordman, but this time we will use the defensive formation with the principe to attack the swordman. And let's see what will happen. So 
So with the defensive formation, the principe is able to perform much better against the Germanic number swordman as you can see over here. They fight equally. They're fighting equally. And as the fight go on, the principe is eventually being able to beat the Germanic noble swordman. Over here, the AI is doing a very smart move that is pulling the noble swordman away from the principe and psycho charge to make use of the good charge bonus of the noble swordman. But in the end, the two units still fight very very equally. <laughs> this will be very close, very close. So as you can see over here, um, with the defensive formation, the principe can perform much better versus uh, another unit of melee infantry. They uh, they are able to beat a unit um, who is much stronger than them. Over here, you see, it's very close, but the prince base can still beat the noble swordman. In the third test, we will try to use the defensive formation against the enemy cavalry, and uh, the defensive formation makes the Roman infantry fight against uh, enemy cavalry much more effectively because they have increased mass, increased armor, some uh, bonus for the cavalry, and they also gain the expert char defense ability. It will make the Roman infantry can fight against cavalry much more effectively. Uh, they take way less, way less damage from carry charge when they stay inside the defensive formation. As you can see here, way less damage from the cavalry charge. Eventually, they will defeat the cavalry with not many casualty. Over here, you will see uh, the principe will take much more damage from the enemy carry charge without the formation. Uh, with just one charge, the um, principe already take a loss of casualty from just one charge of the cavalry without the formation. So uh, without the formation, the Roman infantry will take much more casualty fighting cavalry unit compared to when they use the defensive formation. However, it will be a different story when you use the Roman infantry to fight against uh, the enemy Sioux Wars or Hoplite Phalanx unit, unit, Hoplite Phalanx unit. Over here, uh, we will try to fight the Sioux War unit with the uh, Principe without any formation. And see, without the formation, the Principe will be able to move around, wrap around the Sioux War's formation and attack the soldier in the flank and even in the rear of the Shu Wars formation. And in the front of the Shu Wars formation, the Roman soldier 
they um, they are more spaced out, so they will receive less damage from the uh, sewer front, the sewer, and the hope lines for line formation. They mainly do damage in the front. Mm. So with a more spaced out formation, the Roman units will take less damage from the shield walls and the hope lines or the pies for life. So the principle without a formation can uh, defeat a sewer infantry. Now, if we use the defensive formations against uh, a sewer unit, the sewer or the hope lines formation will be the same. They have the same mechanics. Um, as you can see over here, the defensive formation will perform worse against the sewer infantry compared to the compared to when they don't have any formation at all since the units will try to stay in the formation they would wrap around to find the um, sewers in the flank or in the rear of that formation also, the Roman formation here, they make a very dense formation, so they receive a lot of damage from the front of the sewer walls. The sewer wall will be able to inflict much more damage to the defensive formation compared to when the principal using no formation at all. Because uh, the Roman units they stay very close together, they take a lot of damage, a lot of damage from the sewer front and uh, the principe is losing yeah they get destroyed by the sewer over here I will explain a little bit more for you about the defensive formation and the sewer hope lines formation which is the difference between them uh, okay so over here we see the sewer walls and hope lines formation when in the formation the unit will not resist a lot of a bonus a lot of start and uh, they instead of receiving a bonus start they use the same knockback mechanics as the pikeman so the units in sewer walls formation or in hope lines formation they will have a very strong front a very strong front that will be able to push back enemy knock back the enemy and do a lot of damage in the front but the unit in the flank the unit just stay in the flank and unit in the rear they will not have the knockback mechanics of the hopeless phalanx and they will just use the normal but reduced weapon damage start uh, of the hopeless or shield walls formation as you can see over here they have reduced weapon damage so the units in the flank and in the rear will find much less effective compared to the units in the front that's why the weakness of the um, two walls or uh, hoplite formation is in the flank and the rear. Compared to the hoplite or two wall formation, the um, defensive formation do not have the knockback mechanic in the front 
instead they have bonus start, raw start, which means the start over here will have effect on every soldier who is fighting in this formation, including all the soldiers in the in the flank, all the units in the flank, all the units in the rear, all of them will have all the soldier in the flank and rear. We have the same bonus to armor, bonus to infantry, bonus to infantry, um, increased morale and increased military defense. So the units in uh, defensive formation we have a much stronger flank and rear than the unit in Shield Wars formation or in Hoplite formation but they will have a weaker front compared to Shield Wolf or, or Hoplite Phalanx. Now about the Hollow Square formation. Um, over here, if we read the description, it, 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 it says that the formation will improve defense against cavalry and flanking units. Uh, but in reality, the formation only gives you one more melee defense and uh, three bonus for the cavalry and no expert charge defense at all. And uh, we are making a very thin line over here. So the formation actually make you more vulnerable <laughs> against cavalry. A short cavalry will be able to punch through this guy, punch through to this guy and hit those guys in the back and it will be very bad for us so remember never use hollow square formation when you fight cavalry it's very bad for you <laughs> it will be very bad for you um, the strength of the hollow square formation is that it cover a lot of space you can use this formation to cover a lot of space um, hinder the enemy movement with them the unit in this formation will not fight very effectively. They do not have any bonus and they they still they can move. So they will fight less effectively. But the unit in the square formation, in the hollow square formation, uh, will not have any moral penalty from being attacked in the rear or in the flank. So the hollow square formation is kind of a panic button when you are when you are being surrounded by the enemy when you are when you don't know what what to do with your unit um, just use the hollow square formation your units will form a, we will try to form a square and they will not receive any moral penalty from being attacked in the rear which is very very which is a very big moral penalty and they will be able to stay and fight for a little bit longer to, uh, so the other units can run away or they can wait for support to come with this formation uh, it's worked really well when we only have one unit left and we are surrounded by a loss of enemy and this is use the hollow square formation and uh, if you have watched my this is total war roman campaign before you will see how many times the hollow square formation just saved my ass <laughs> yeah the the units in the hollow square formation will be able to fight for a little bit longer and uh, it's kind of a big deal they will not rout easily in the hollow square formation and that's how you use this formation it's very useful in uh, uh, in a dire situation in a dire situation normally you don't want to use this at all but in a dire situation it can be a life saver and finally, finally, the test to door formation is very easy to understand. You have no offensive or defensive capability with test to door formation. But 
you are like you will be almost invulnerable to enemy missile attack when you are in test formation yeah nearly impenetrable to missile damage so when you use this formation it's when the enemy have a lot of missile units like archer for example and they are camping on top of a hill uh, for example and they refuse to move and they stay there you can use the test to the formation and just take all of their all of their missile all of their ammunition you will take very very little damage uh, <laughs> when you use this formation and when they are run out of when they run out of ammunition just simply charge in there and get rid of them okay so this will be the end of this video we have talked about all of the formation of the formation of the roman infantry and the roman infantry can fight very effectively without a formation as well so if you when you are able to use a formation effectively change uh, from fighting with the formation then prop the formation when you need it then use the different formation uh, change from change from this formation to that formation in a given situation um, then the roman infantry will be a force to reckon with really they will be very very powerful and they can counter against any kind of enemy with their ability to fight without a formation and with the formation so i hope this video will give you an idea of how to use the roman infantry in battle the there is, will be a lot of things that you can do with them yeah <laughs> they are very flexible very very they, you can use them in many many situations in many many different ways uh, so you are only be limited by your own uh, imagination <laughs> yes try to make a formation that suit your play style so thank you very much for watching and hopefully you like this video if you enjoy this uh, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this in the future thank you very much for watching and see you in the next part in the next part we will talk about how to counter a certain enemy at the roman how we fight against pies how we fight against hope lines how we fight against horse archer how we fight against cataphract in the next part we will talk about this so stay tuned thank you very much